this wasn't a systematic error, and I'm absolutely convinced of that. It was just an accident, and the member of staff is mortified about the situation. Presumably the patients are also mortified. Have they been informed what's happened? Uh, we didn't tell the patients at the time. Uh, we took the judgment that the relatively little amount of data was not able to identify the person, their address, the telephone numbers, those things. There was no chance of loss of or theft of personal identity. And we took the decision in conversation with the practices, but particularly within the PCT, not necessarily to unnecessarily um, raise the concern of the patients. Have they been told now, though? Uh, no. They've been told, obviously, or they've been informed through this Freedom of Information request and so forth, and we are setting up processes to inform or to respond to questions from patients about these issues. But don't you think that by not telling and writing to the people affected, anyone in Stockport now who's under this PCT area is going to be thinking to themselves, am I one of the 4,000 people whose data's gone missing? I can understand that concern. That's not the case. It's only six practices in Stockport. And probably in hindsight, we should have advised the patients, the public, of, the, of who, it, who was concerned and who was not concerned with it. Don't they have a right to know, though, if their data's gone missing? Um, that's, tr that's true. I, I suppose the judgment, and it, and it was a judgment, was that the limited amount of data did not allow people to be identified personally, identity theft, as I said before, and so the judgment was taken not to inform the patients. What's been done after this incident to make sure that something like this doesn't happen again? Well, clearly with the heightened awareness of the uh, loss, of loss of data across the public sector and, and beyond, we've clearly introduced procedures. Um, to me, absolutely sure that data is carried individually, personally, it's encrypted, uh, that there's safe carriage and those sorts of things. Um, it's difficult to cope with and to totally avoid an accident, and we genuinely believe it was an accident that happened in this case. But can you now categorically guarantee that for anyone within the Stockport PCT area, any data that's kept on them will not go missing and will not fall into the wrong hands? I can guarantee that management processes and actions and policies will try to ensure that. Um, unfortunately, if things are stolen, whatever it might be, that might happen. We wish it not to happen, but we can't absolutely guarantee it. As far as error is concerned on the part of the PCT and the staff here, can you guarantee that, in that sense, data won't go missing? I can guarantee that. And certainly three um, emails and communications from myself or, or, or the central office have been to staff to be extra vigilant at this current time. And with hindsight, now you've seen how quickly Oldham PCT was to come forward and admit when it lost the data of some of its patients... Do you wish that you'd come forward more quickly uh, as, and, and revealed what had happened? Um, I, suppose I, I suppose I do. We possibly, in December, ought to have been uh, contacted the individual patients, whether that's the same as putting it in the public domain, about the loss of the data and the effect of that. And the judgment was taken then, and I still think it was the right judgment that the unease, distress possible there was greater than the likelihood of the data being found. Um, if we were sure that the data had been stolen or it had gone in a, in a, in a format, in a means that was usable, I mean, we, we think it's in a memory stick that's been dropped in a gutter that may have been crushed by a car. Now, that's a hypothesis, but that's the belief, because it was a rainy day, of the situation. So the Quite an, an optimistic hypothesis, I, it is, though. I understand that, but that's the, ch that's the chance of it being used.